Okay, uh, in this session, uh, we're going to solve another example uh, for the superposition theorem. Now, in this example, we have this special case, uh, the dependent source is also present here. You have current source here, the independent current source and independent voltage source. Total, we have uh, three uh, sources, uh, but one source we have to keep intact because uh, this is the dependent source is uh, current control voltage source is controlled by this current here in this branch. Uh, you have only two independent source, 4 ampere and 20 volt source. Now for this one, uh, we can solve by using the Microsoft Word here. So I find it's convenient to solve. Okay, now in the first step, okay, uh, let's uh, try to uh, uh, make this uh, 20 volt equal to zero, which means Whenever you're making to a voltage source zero, we have to short circuit that one, which means when uh, four ampere source is at, which means, okay, uh, this voltage source uh, will be shorted. So you have three mesh and then, okay, uh, let's draw another figure. Okay, uh, now when a uh, four ampere source is active, so this is the uh, the network that you have. Previously, we have here the voltage source. Now we have shorted this one, and then here we are going to apply the mesh analysis. So in the mesh one, your uh, I one will be equal to four uh, four ampere uh, because uh, it's again one of the case one of the super mesh. And then in this mesh two. In mesh two, you have okay two i two minus five of okay five of uh, i not dash plus one of i two minus i three i three plus three of I2 minus I1 is equal to zero. Here we have applied the KVL and then if you simplify this one, you will reach into the final uh, equation. Okay, uh, with simplification, we got the final equation six I2 plus four I3 is equal to 32. Now let's make this one as equation one. So how I reach to this equation, you can uh, use this one. Uh, here we have I1 is equal to four ampere. We got it from the super mesh case one. And then your I node dash, I node dash is equal to I1 minus I3. Now for the second mesh, for the second mesh, now in this mesh, okay, uh, this is okay. First mesh, we got I1 is equal to four ampere. Second mesh, we got this equation, and then in the third mesh, okay, let's also uh, write the equation for the third mesh. Okay, now in the mesh three, we got uh, four I three. Okay, we are starting from here. Four I three plus five of I three minus I one. Five of I three minus I one plus one of I three minus I two. 1 of I3 minus I2 plus 5 I node. Now here is 5 I node dash, but in place of I node dash, here we have okay, I node dash is equal to I1 minus I3, which means, uh, okay, which means you have I1 is 4 minus I3 is equal to 0. So if you simplify this one, you got this one minus I2 plus five I3 is equal to zero. Now let's make this one as equation two. Solve equation one and two using, the, I think uh, uh, I'm sure by this time you know how to use the calculator. So when you have this two unknown equation or maximum three unknown equation, you can solve it directly from the calculator. You can solve this and then obtain I note. So we got uh, I naught dash is equal to four minus 0 0.941 is equal to 3.059 ampere. Now how we got uh, okay, uh, this one, I, I two, I two 
if you solve for these two equations, you get I2 and I3. Now from I2 and I3, we get I0 dash. Now from this one, I0 dash, okay, is this one. So with this, okay, we got it for the, uh, got it, uh, we got the I0 when the 4 MP source is active. Now similarly, we can uh, solve for the uh, 20 volt, is active okay let's write when 20 volt is active so when 20 volt is active our circuit looks like this so you can again apply the mesh analysis here and then you will get uh, you'll get two uh, equation from this two mesh so let's write the final uh, equation in uh, from both the mesh so uh, in this, I've got two equation and I have named it equation three and four. Here we have only two mesh. Uh, mesh one, okay, first mesh we have assumed it as I4 and second mesh current is I5. Here we had a current source, we make it open circuit and then this is how we simplify the circuit. Remember that here we are keeping the dependent source intact. Now from here, from the uh, Two mesh, we got two unknown equation, and then we solve for I4 and I5. We got I4 is equal to negative 2.35 ampere, and I5 is equal to 3.529 ampere. Now, looking at this network, your I node double dash is equal to negative of I5. Reason is I not double dash is coming downward, whereas I5 the mesh current is moving upward. So they are in opposite direction, but their magnitude will remain same. The reason is they are in same mesh. So we have this uh, this solution, and then okay, we got our final uh, magnitude of I not double dash, which is negative of I5 is equal to negative 3.529 ampere. Mm -hmm. And then, now this is the magnitude or the resultant of the current we got it due to the 20 volt source. Now, in order to calculate, okay, the final third step for the superposition theorem is we have to sum up I naught one plus I naught double dash. And then we got negative of 0.470 ampere. This I naught dash, we got it from here, 3.059. We have to sum up, right? And then I note double dash, we got it from here. And then our final answer is negative 0 0.47 ampere. So this is how we solve using the superposition theorem. Now, not only with the superposition theorem, you can also apply any other method. You can just try to apply the mesh analysis by keeping both the source active. You will get same um, uh, current, this I note will get same be it uh, whether you're solving it from super mesh or you're solving it from the, uh, uh, okay, uh, the superposition theorem or from the mesh analysis or nodal analysis. Try to apply or try to verify this network and try to find I node using other methods uh, other than the superposition theorem. From the superposition theorem, we got it. We got I node is equal to negative 0.47 MP. So you can try to apply with the other uh, to other uh, circuit analyzing technique and then try to determine I note. And if you have any doubt, let's discuss, okay? Uh, do not hesitate to uh, call me or you can just write your doubt in the comment section. Okay, thank you.